On this week's episode, I'm going to look at getting organized. And by getting organized, I mean when you have your song and the whole structure, as you'll see on the screen here, it's important to have everything set up properly. It's going to do a couple of things for you. First, you're going to know where things are, how to get to it quickly, how to mix it, how to you know move the volume or add effects to it. And also, it's going to speed up the whole process and allow you to get new ideas out, get things moving, and keep it rolling while you're in the kind of zone or the flow state, as they call it. And this took me years to kind of get into. Originally, I would just have random files all over the place. And it was really done in an effort to get all the ideas out that I had. And I would go from one thing to the next. But the problem was, once I was kind of done through everything, I'd have to sift through it, take my time. This goes here, this goes there, add the effects. And what it did was actually had the reverse effect. It killed any kind of groove I was on. So now when I start, I always create drum buses, a bass bus, a percussion bus, groupings. And that's where everything sits under. So if I take a look at this, and this is a new track, uh, this is going to be Dub Pack Volume 2 that I'm working. I'll give you a quick sample about it, and then I'll show you the structure and how many tracks there are and why I do this. So that's a couple things. So that's the song. But now if you look at it in its entirety, if we scroll down, you can see it is comprised full of tracks. I mean, there's a lot of different parts going on, coming in and out throughout it. And so one of the things I do is my basic setup structure is this. So I'm using the Alborosi EQ, uh, not EQ, the new plug in there. And I'm using the reverb on it because I really like it. And it's based off of King Tubby's spring reverb. It gives you a very, it fits kind of on almost anything. So I use that. And the other time I'll use like the EMT plate reverb from uh, UAD. I love both of those. But right here, what I do is I have my drum section. And in the drums, you can kind of set this up any way you want. For me, I have kick, rim shots, snares, hi-hats there. I'll put the really things that you tend to go back to as you're mixing, such as the crashes and the tom fills and any kind of little effects. I put them more to the top over here just because I know where to go really quickly. However you do it is cool. The bass also has its own grouping and settings. I have five or six different bass parts for this track that I would try, record, and see which ones I liked. Uh, percussion, same thing. Everything's there, and then it allows you to quickly kind of jump into it, jump down here, and pan it how you want, put the volume. Same goes for horns. Keys, I will put all the keys here with a master group. Guitars, effects tracks, because as I go, I'm doing different effects, but I still want them all in one location, because what I will generally do is I haven't got to it yet, but I will add, say, like uh, an EQ. So because these are effects, they're not the core songs. I don't want them sitting really high up in the mix, and I don't want any kind of frequencies in the low mids and low end to muddy up the sound. So I will put a shelf on there, and I'll throw it out at an 18, and I might roll off the high end a little bit, and that'll sit right on top of the entire effects track as it goes through, so it cancels out any of those frequencies or removes them. And then the last thing I have is the winds. And so if you go through all these, this allows me to really jump in there quickly. I know where everything is and I can keep flowing. So every time I record a new track, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go, okay, I want to use the mic I'm on or one of the other mics I've got set up. As you can hear now, I can bang in there. And then once I'm done, I name the file and then up it goes to where I want it. And then when I'm ready, I'll sit there and I'll go, okay, here's just the wind section. Here's this. I want the panning here, panning there. But in the end, Having your stuff organized makes a huge difference as you go through and create tracks. Take it from me and from a lot of you. A lot of people start off, you just trying to get it down and get your ideas up there and it's exciting. But once you get organized, you're going to be a lot more efficient and your ideas and creative creativity are going to flow a lot faster. So hope that helps. It's a basic one, but a very important one. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Matic, the Matics, Taran to Canada, Vanden, la la la, la la la.